Look at this picture. This is a picture of a square carpet. You know what is a square which has both length and breadth same. So here the square carpet has the length or the length of a side as 2 meters. So the breadth will also be 2 meters. So now if I tell you to find out the area of material used in this carpet. What will you do? You will find out the area of this square carpet. Well, we know that an area of a square is side square or side into side. So similarly, area of the square carpet will be side into side or we can say 2 into 2. Now we know that this 2 into 2 represents 2 square. So 2 square is 2 into 2. So we can say that the area of this carpet is 4 meters square. This is how we get side into side, that is side square. Similarly, here we used 2 square. Now finding the area of this was very easy because here we have whole numbers with us. But every time the length of such carpets or any objects may or may not be in the uh, form of whole numbers. Like suppose we have a new carpet here and when I measured the dimensions or the length of this carpet, I found that it was 2.5 meters. Now here I did not get a whole number say only 2 but then to find out the area of this carpet, again I have to use side into side that is 2.5 into 2.5 in this case. So that means I am finding out the square of 2.5. That means I am finding out the square of a decimal here, that decimal number here. So for this you need to know how to find out the square of a decimal number. Well here area of the square is side square. So the side is given as 2.5 meter. So we need to find out the square of 2.5 meter to find out the area of that carpet. So how do we find out the square of a decimal number? Well, it is similarly like the whole number. In case of 2, we do 2 into 2. Similarly, in case of 2.5, we will do 2.5 into 2.5. Right? Now, by normal multiplication, or basic multiplication, just find out 2.5 into 2.5. You will get 6.25 meter square. This is what you get. So finding out squares of decimal numbers is same as finding out squares of any whole number. Just multiply it with itself and write down the answer. Now we know that 2 square that is 2 into 2 gives us 4 which is a perfect square. So 4 that is a natural number is a perfect square. Now do you know that even decimal numbers can be squared? So what do you get? A square number? So you can say that a decimal number can also be squared to get a square number. Now you know that any decimal number can be squared. Now the inverse operation of a square is the square root. Here you can see to find out the square of 3, we square it and we get the number 9. Now to get the number 3 back from number 9, we will square root 9 to get back 3. Similarly, even square numbers, that is square decimal numbers, can be square rooted to get back the decimal number itself. Now suppose I ask you to find out square root of this decimal number, that is 2.25. You already know how to find out the square root of a decimal number using the long division method. Here we will use another method to solve this. Let's see how. First of all, you can say that 2.25 that is a decimal number, can be converted into a fraction. How do you do that? Well, 2.25 can be written as 225 by 100. Do you understand this? You can see that the decimal point is before two digits here. That is 2 and 5. So, if you want to convert it into a fraction, then you can add two zeros in the denominator with a 1 here. So this becomes a fraction. Now suppose this is not given and this is a fraction given to you. How will you convert it into a decimal number? Just count the number of zeros and starting from the ones digit, start putting the decimal number. 
So the number of zeros here are two. So just count one and two and put the decimal point here. So you will get 2.25 back from this fraction. So you know that a decimal number can be converted into a fraction. So if I convert this decimal number into a fraction and then square root it, I will get the answer. Now I have already learned how to find out the square root of a fraction. So if you have a decimal number in front of you, just convert it into a fraction and then find out the square root using the method which we have taught you in the fraction method. Now square root of a fraction is what? Square root of the numerator by square root of the denominator. Just recall it. So here what we have done? We have just converted a 2.25 into a fraction number. So whenever you have a decimal number and you do not want to use long division method, you can convert it into a fraction number and then you can square root this separately. So I can say that square root of this is equal to square root of this, putting the sign of square root both sides. Now, we know that we have to square root this separately. That is square rooting the numerator differently, that is separately, and square rooting the denominator separately. So I can write this as root over 225 by root over 100. Normally, just like we do in case of fractions, Now find out the prime factors of 225 and 100. Do it yourself. See, 225 can be factorized into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. So write this down, just replacing 225 with these numbers. Well, if you do not want to repeat this whole process, as it is very, very easy or simple for you, what you can do is just multiply 3 into 5, that is 15 into 15, you will get 225. So instead of writing this whole thing, you can also write 15 into 15 under the square root. Similarly, factorize 100. Well, 100 you can also see that 10 into 10 gives us 100. So you can either write here 10 into 10 or you can factorize 100 also. See, what do you get? 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. You could either write this or you can also write 10 into 10. Now you know whenever we find out square root, we group things into pairs of two and then we take out only one number out from the square root. So what will we take here? Take one three from this pair and take one five out of this pair. Similarly from here, you will take out one two and one five. So what do you get? Three into five by two into five. Similarly, if you had taken 15 into 15 here or 10 into 10 here, you would get the same answer, 15 outside and 10 outside here. So this will give you what? 15 by 10. That would be the same answer if you used 15 into 15 and 10 into 10 here. Now let's cancel this. So we get 3 by 2, that is 1.5 when we convert it into decimal numbers. This is 3 by 2, which is 1.5. So I can say that 1.5 is the square root of 2.25. Well, if you notice something, suppose the decimal number was not there. It was root 225. Well, the answer you would get would be 15. So see, only the decimal points are here. Otherwise, the square root is same in the numerical value. So what did we study? Square root of a decimal can be found out by long division method or by a method where we convert the decimal number into a fraction and then we follow the method of square rooting a fraction. That is square root of a fraction which is equal to square root of the numerator separately and then square root of the denominator.